So it wasn't enough that we had the Chinese spy balloons coming uh, across from uh, the North Pacific over Alaska, Canada, and, you know, through the uh, United States. Now we have this suspected Chinese spies disguised as tourists try to infiltrate Alaskan military bases. Several soldiers told USA Today that suspected Chinese spies who disguise themselves as tourists try to infiltrate Alaska military bases. Chinese citizens posing as tourists but suspected of being spies have made several attempts in recent years to gain access to military facilities in this vast state studded with sensitive bases, according to U.S. officials. In one incident, a vehicle with Chinese citizens blew past a security checkpoint at Fort Wainwright in Fairbanks, Alaska, several soldiers told USA Today. Okay, so they just blew past the security. That is unacceptable. The vehicle was eventually stopped and a search found a drone inside the vehicle. The occupants claimed they were tourists who had gotten lost. Okay, if you can believe that. Many of the encounters have been chalked up to innocent mistakes by foreign visitors intent on viewing the Northern Lights and other attractions in Alaska, officials say. Other attempts to enter U.S. military bases, however, seem to be probes to learn about U.S. military capabilities in Alaska, according to multiple soldiers familiar with the incidents, but who were not authorized to speak publicly about them. Not all who appear to be tourists in Alaska are. In fact, tourists, one army of officers said, instead they are foreign spies. Details about the incidents remain mostly classified. However, military briefings and publicly available information lay out why the Chinese government would be interested in Alaska, where some of the Pentagon's most sophisticated military capabilities and high-end war games reside. The Pentagon's number two official, Kathleen Hicks, demurred when asked to comment on suspecting Chinese spying at military facilities in Alaska. She said the military is taking a number of steps to make sure those bases are secure, but she gives no specifics. The FBI and Justice Department are involved. The FBI and Department of Justice take over cases from the military involving suspected spies. FBI Director Christopher Ray regularly sounds alarms about Chinese government-sponsored espionage, blaming communist leaders there, not its citizens or Chinese Americans. Ray has estimated that the FBI opens a new investigation on Chinese government-sponsored espionage every 12 hours. Can you believe that? There's no doubt that the greatest long-term threat to our nation's ideas, our economic security, and our national security is that posed by the Chinese Communist government. This is what Ray said in his speech in April. The key concern about intrusions on U.S. military bases may, be, may have as much to do about what is left behind than photos taken, said David de Putula, a retired three-star Air Force general who was the service's senior officer for intelligence. Spies could leave behind sensors that could pick up sensitive communications, according to de Putula, who is now dean of the Mitchell Institute for Aerospace Power Studies. So you see, they could be there and uh, say, oh, sorry, we made a mistake, so we'll leave. But in the meantime, they've left communicators, sensitive uh, instruments that can uh, pick up whatever details they need. Isn't that something? This is on Great Game India. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.